All right, welcome back. It is early October 64, and um, let's take a look at the uh, situation here in Virginia. Um, basically, here's sort of Lee's force that is, uh, as you can see, in quite, uh, quite bad shape. Um, they're going to rail back and uh, take up a defensive position in the trenches. Um, the same thing will um, happen with... Um, Sorry, wrong one. The same thing will happen with um, Longstreet. Will go back and, and take over um, uh, Breckenridge's Corps, and we don't have enough rail to um, bring in these supply wagons by rail. Um, so hopefully, they will be able to. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to evade. Uh, Capture. Now, I think an all-out attack by the Union on Richmond would actually probably succeed this turn, so it'll be kind of interesting to see um, uh, if that actually happens. We control Tappahannock in Williamsburg, so we put a little bit of supply from there, and um, of course we still control uh, Richmond, so in that generation about 140 supply um, per turn. So in theory, this could be the last turn of the game. Um, we're still holding um, Wilmington, although I think it's likely if the game continues, we'll probably evacuate Wilmington and send all those forces to take up a defensive position in Charleston, South Carolina. I will, I'm evacuating, um, Savannah as, um, basically there's, uh, large forces coming down. I don't think that we will be able to, um, be able to hold it. Um, so, uh, the Savannah force will be kind of basically come down and, and head towards um, Tallahassee and hopefully can eventually kind of make its way um, to our defenses uh, here over in Alabama. We'll take up a new line in Alabama. Uh, basically, we'll be retreating back uh, from Union to Montgomery, and eventually I'd, I'll contract this one as well, and then we'll have a Selma to um, Montgomery line. Justin's forces have pretty well recovered, so you can see they're in pretty good, um, they're in pretty good shape here, um, and, um, Claiborne will be, uh, taking up the middle, um, the middle position, and Wheeler will be, uh, taking up, um, in, in Selma. Another possible attack this turn could be at Pensacola, um, and, um, Uh, Mobile, Alabama, as well. There's a large, uh, there's a large Union force here. Out in Texas, um, we are still able to pretty well hold um, Galveston and, and Houston. Um, uh, that's that's really uh, kind of about all right now. We can't do can't do too much for that. I'm gonna send Wadi up. Uh, to uh, to defend Austin and um, resupply there. We did have a small force here in Arkansas. In hindsight, um, oh, sorry, they're over they're over here. Um, the Army of the West. They're not really doing anything. I probably should have just evacuated them alone um, a long time ago. Um, all right, those are the highlights, so let's uh, run the turn and see what happens. All right, um, it was an all-out attack by the Union, and um, national morale is uh, down to zero. Um, uh, we'll kind of go through all the battles, and I'll, I'll show you what happened. So, um, great game. Um, by my union opponent. Um, <clears throat> I think he did about very well, made a lot of good decisions. I think I learned a lot, so I'll try to, next time I play this this round, well, I'll try to do some things differently. Let's um, focus in on the battles, and um, let's take a look at uh, the major battles that happened this turn. The first, um, man, sorry, let me filter out. Yep, the first, um, the first battle that happened um, is uh, 
here in Mobile, Alabama, it was actually a very, very light skirmish, and folk basically just decided to retreat. <laughs> um, so there you go. Not a, not really a lot uh, actually happened. Um, not, not huge losses um, or uh, or anything like that. Um, folk ended. You can see because of the, the artillery, he's um, he's uh, still you know kind of moving out. You can see basically the the divisions are in. in in pretty good shape. So, uh, folk just didn't didn't really have the nerve to fight um, and, and keep on. Um, the next big battle um, was uh, up in Montgomery, and this one was actually kind of interesting. Uh, Johnston did pretty well. Claiborne marched to uh, the tenth of Gun and, and reinforced. Um, you can see here we were able to uh, destroy, even destroy. Um, at least some, at least some enemy enemy units. In the end, casualties were about even, and uh, Johnston retreated um, back up here to uh, to Kingston. So and you can actually see he basically stayed to the end. Powers down to 285. Claiborne's powers down to 232. Um, so not enough to actually hold. And uh, now Montgomery. Uh, I mean, it's still in our hand. It was still technically in our hands, or was in our hands, but uh, still under. It's actually it would, would be under siege. Um, the next really big battle, of course, is um, Richmond, uh, and here it is. Um, casualties are about even, um, but. Uh, 186,000, Union was able to bring to bear 186,000 men, at least somewhere on the field. I don't know how many of them actually participated. Um, and uh, that then led to Lee retreating. Um, and uh, here is, is uh, Longstreet's Corps as well. So uh, the assaults continued and then. Um, the Union uh, fell into hands. So and those were, there were some other skirmishes. We actually won a few of them, but uh, I mean, really where it counted, um, um, you can say that, uh, you know, the Union won. So the game is over. Um, we still hold Wilmington um, <clears throat> and, uh, and Charleston. Uh, although Charleston will probably be threatened pretty soon. Oh, I actually did want to show you this. Uh, they did move on Savannah as I predicted, and so um, Savannah is uh, still in our hands, but um, uh, you know, under basically under under siege, um, and um, we still control you know kind of a, a lot of the areas, uh, a lot of the areas in Texas, um, but. Uh, Basically, you know, the Union is, is would be able to take a lot of these places um, pretty soon, and realistically would be able to defeat what's left of, of these armies. I think my general thoughts are on um, in Virginia. I was probably I was way too spread out, um, and probably should have consolidated the lines um, much, much, much earlier. I think Union did get lucky with a couple moves that that. Um, you know, sort of went their way with sort of guessing the right, and I, I guessed incorrectly. Um, in Georgia, I was really surprised that the Union didn't have more um, supply issues, pushing supply, uh, it's flanked over here, pushing supply through the mountains. And I was really depending on that not actually working, and, and it did, and it, and uh, that basically uh, forced us to, you know, as, we failed quite spectacularly um, um, because of that. Um, I still think you know holding Mobile, Alabama was the right move. Um, probably never got. Was probably not. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Was not um. Probably able to, to get enough forces in there to to really hold it. Only had two and a half divisions. Um, and one of them, one of them was actually mostly mostly cavalry. I think the other thing is it might have made sense to be a lot more proactive with our cavalry divisions and actually try to go out there and assault some of these Union-held towns that are are in are in the Confederacy. 
that's like another sort of potential like what if. Um, I was never really able to do anything in Texas other than hold, um, including I wasn't even able to uh, attack here, which could have been something that was um, was possible. I think the the rail destruction was not um, as successful as it really needed to be. That really caused a hindrance. Um, I mean, we yeah we did destroy a few railroads, but you know really never enough to. You know, you can see here the railroads are pretty much all intact. Um, you know, n never enough to really uh, to really make a difference. I'm, I'm like this. I'm struggling even to find a railroad that we destroyed at this point. <laughs> um, anyways, great game. It was a, learned a lot. We did not make it anywhere close to the end of actually how long the actual war ended. Um, let me show you. Final um, losses. We lost 190,000. They lost 122,000. So um, those losses are very much flipped, I think, uh, compared to history. So it kind of can put you in perspective. We still, we really don't hold Nova anymore. So we're basically left with um, basically left with Charleston, uh, South Carolina, as our only um, objective city we're really holding. Alright, that's it for this uh, game, and I will see you in another one in the future.